Well, thank you guys for coming out. Um, first, I want to uh, introduce my staff. Uh, to the left of me, we have Matt Flemons, who's my director of basketball operations. Uh, we have Drew Gladstone, who's an assistant coach. We have Brandon McDonald, who's another assistant coach. And we have Steve, uh, who's a, a return assistant coach, uh, who's been with me, uh, I think, from the start uh, of my tenure here. He was uh, 17 year as a head coach at Triton uh, College. So I'm super excited about my staff. Um, um, my guys, you know, to, to give you uh, where we are, my guys are extremely um, excited about what's to come. Um, when I took the position, um, I wanted to make sure that these guys understood what it takes to really go out and compete at a high level. Um, my standards uh, throughout the day is, is pretty high. I'm pretty detail-oriented when it comes to uh, what goes into winning. And uh, the six guys that returned all bought in from day one. Um, the seven new guys that, that came along with us throughout the course of the uh, April period, those guys have bought in as well. So you have 13 guys uh, who all want to take this thing to the next level. And I'm super excited about that. Uh, the beauty of basketball, you always have time to redeem yourself. We'll have some good days, we'll have some bad days, but my guys have always shown up the next day ready to compete and, and push this thing forward. Um, so I'm super excited. Uh, we've been going uh, for the last you know, four to five weeks pretty hard. Uh, we compete. Uh, we do a lot of teaching through film, and I'm excited about, you know, obviously the opportunity to show you guys on Saturday the new look of the Huskies. Um, so, you know, I, I can't stress enough the importance of, of Saturdays, you know, starting this thing off right. We would like to have this place as full as possible uh, to support our guys and, and to get this thing going. Um, ultimately, when talking to Sean and, and, and Courtney throughout the process of, of interviewing, um, I knew this was a challenge, but I also knew that a big part of to try to get this thing going would be having people in, in, at the convo and having people you know, here to make this one of the hardest places to play in the MAC. And, and that's my goal, not just mine, but the rest of the, the department and also the rest of my staff. Um, going into the players, um, we returned six players. Uh, Trendon um, is, is our leading scorer. Um, he's a senior. He's a guy that has developed every day. He's a willing learner. Uh, my style of play was a little different than the previous style, staff uh, from you know, the concepts to the freedom that I give my guys. And so he's a guy that you're going to see uh, not only statistically take a jump, but also he's going to have a larger impact. And the way we play is going to free him up to not just uh, be the primary scorer. Um, I believe in a system of you know, uh, random movement based on concepts, based on things that we do uh, throughout the course of practice that will carry over into games. Uh, we also brought in some exciting new players. Um, we got a kid uh, out of Tulsa, he's a local kid. Um, he's a phenomenal player. Um, he's here, standing in the corner. Um, he's, he's gonna be one of the guys, and, and uh, Keyshawn Williams is the kid's name. He's gonna be a guy that, you know, obviously uh, will have some exciting plays, but he's also still a freshman, so there's still a learning curve. Uh, with, with most of my guys. You know, we're returning six, but seven new guys, and we're trying to mesh 13 guys to, to really go out and compete every night and try to win uh, and win the right way. So it, it's going to be a challenge. Um, you know, obviously, with, with, with some of the new guys, we're going to do a really good job of slowly bringing them into the fold. Um, but the six returning guys, those guys are going to be the guys that we're going to lean on, sheer from the experience of playing in the MAC. Um, so we're super excited. Um, the also the, the other thing that I'll touch on is a non-conference schedule. Um, I really wanted to go out and challenge these guys and challenge the team. Uh, so our first opening opponent is Washington, which is a Pac-12 school. Uh, Coach Hopkins has done a phenomenal job. I want to say of his five years there, he's been the, the Pac-12 uh, coach of the year twice. Um, so we have our challenge, you know, obviously going on the road with a new team, new coach, new style of play to go to a Washington environment uh, and, and try to get a win. Those guys are extremely, extremely competitive in the pack. From there, we'll go to Indiana uh, with a new regime. Uh, coach Woodson obviously has a, a wealth of experience being an NBA head coach multiple times, great player in his day. And you're playing at Indiana, one of the historical uh, arenas in all of college basketball. Um, it'll be a packed house. 17-2. Uh, 
So our guys are going to really have to be focused uh, in that environment. Every time we line up, our goal is to compete. Um, our program is, is, is on an upward tick. I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, our guys believe it. And so our opinion is based on the 13 guys that's in the locker room. Right? We focus on us and us only. But our expectations going into the season is to compete and compete at a high level. And if we do that with what we do defensively, what we do offensively, we're going to give ourselves a chance to win a lot of games. But it starts with the mindset of our guys every day. Um, from there, we'll, we go to uh, 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 MTE. We play at Missouri. Uh, Coach Conzo Martin, uh, one of my good friends in the business, he's a guy that I modeled my career after. Uh, he's a fierce competitor. I competed against him in the SEC when he was a head coach at uh, Tennessee and also in the Pac-12 when he was a head coach at California. His teams are physical, they're tough, they don't beat themselves. And so that's going to be a tremendous challenge uh, to go to a Missouri after coming off a game at Indiana. But yet again, the process has always been about building this thing for the future. We're going to go out and compete. Uh, our most important game, obviously, is the first MAC game on the 28th. So our non-conference was all built to get us ready to go out and compete on the 28th. And, and I think we've done a phenomenal job there. From there, we play uh, BU down in Jacksonville. Uh, uh, Coach Jones done a phenomenal job. That team just came off of a tournament run. Uh, he has all of his guys back. So I expected an unbelievable challenge uh, with uh, Boston University. Um, we also will play the winner of Little Rock and Sam Houston State uh, the following day, another competitive game. We're off, and then we go to Marquette. Coach Shaka Smart and I share the same mentor in Billy Donovan. Um, I've known Shaka for a long time. He's a tremendous winner, took VCU to the Final Four, took uh, Texas to multiple NCAA tournaments, and now he's at Marquette. So I understand the type of environment Marquette will be being a a friend of Shocker and knowing how hard he get his kids, his guys to play and how competitive it, that team will be in his first year. So I'm super excited about that. And then we finally, we finally get home to the convo. Uh, we play uh, Eastern Illinois. Um, and my, my goal, and I said this to Sean and Courtney throughout the interview process, is we got to protect home. We have to protect home. That's the only way that we can get this thing from where it is to where it needs to be, is to protect home. And not just winning at home, but also from a recruiting standpoint. And this will be a test to send a message to the rest of the state that NIU is serious about uh, the state of Illinois and, and, and competing at a high level. From there, we got uh, another friend of mine. Uh, uh, it seems like I got a lot of friends on this roster, on this schedule. Uh, Anthony Grant, um, who's another Billy Div uh, Donovan disciple. Um, Unbelievable year uh, two years ago. Uh, I think they were top two in the tournament. Uh, they were wire to wire top five in the country at Dayton. Dayton has a rich uh, tradition of, of, of winning. Um, that is an unbelievable environment. Um, that's a program I can say that we will model ourselves after uh, in regards to trying to get us to, to be like a Dayton of, of, of the A-10. Uh, Anthony Grant has done a phenomenal job with that program. He did a phenomenal job at Alabama. He did a phenomenal job at VCU. So our guys are going to get pushed to this brink. Um, but I feel strongly that everything we've done in the offseason, everything we've done in the spring has, has prepared us for this moment. Um, we will have some good, some bad, some ugly days, but the process won't stop for us. Our guys are committed to the long-term goal of getting this thing respectable and to ultimately cut down nets. I can't tell you when. But I can tell you it will happen based on how we go about our daily business. And my guys know the mantra is every day we start over. Every day we're willing to pay the price, but we're going to start over every day. Um, and that's just how life starts, and that's how life, basketball is in all the sports. You've got to be willing to start over. So I'll, I'll, obviously our non-conference uh, will end with Chicago State and, and at UIC, uh, two competitive, you know, obviously programs, two programs that you know, obviously we all vie for the same players. Uh, for the most part. Um, so we got to do a really good job of, 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 of playing in those games. And then we'll end up our home schedule uh, with Indiana State uh, at the Convo Center on the 22nd. Um, so with that being said, you know, we're super excited to, to be here. Obviously, this is my first press conference. Um, I think my program is moving in the right direction. I feel comfortable and, and happy with my guys. And Saturday, you'll get a chance to see uh, the new look um, NIU Huskies. Um, my style of play, we're, we're going to be super aggressive. I'm a Jersey City guy. My mindset 
is to hit first. Um, similar to Coach Thomas, who's a Jersey guy, <laughs> we, <laughs> we're going to hit first. Um, so you're going to see that constantly. We're going to compete for every inch of that floor, and we're going to go out and do our best. But you're going to see a competitive, you know, 13 uh, guys moving in one, as one unit. Um, so with that being said, I'll open up for any questions. Um, a big role, um, sheer, just from the fact that these guys have had experience. Uh, Chris Austin came with me from Arizona State. Um, he's played at the highest level. He's played in hostile environments. He knows what goes into winning. Um, he has the understanding of what uh, my expectations are uh, from day to day and also in, in competition. So those guys bring experience um, and they bring a different skill level that I need it uh, on this team. They've been phenomenal. Um, I think, you know, the difficult part when you inherit uh, a team is, is the trust factor, right? I'm a new coach. They probably have people in their ears and their circles saying, hey, he's not your guy. He's going to bring their, his guys in. Um, and so I, I try my best and my staff as well to break down that and, and, to, and to garner trust by action. Um, so, you know, Crump and Trendon and, and Adong, uh, and Zul, all the returners in KT, those guys are my guys. And I said that to him the moment uh, we had our introductory uh, meeting up at the Nelson Center. Like, you're my guys. And so I coached them no different than I would a Chris Austin who came in or Doishi or Keyshawn. Uh, we're, we're one family, and they understand that, and their role would be, you know, obviously prominent because they have experience. Um, you know, obviously last year didn't go as planned, but they have experience. The thing that you'll see different in them is their confidence, right? To me, confidence is earned. You know, I can't walk up to, you know, one of my players and just instill confidence in them. They're going to have to work. I can help them, but these guys have put a tremendous amount of time on their craft to earn their own confidence. My job is to put them in positions to be successful. It's, it's, it's huge, but he's not the only leader, right? I empower all my guys to be leaders, right? He'll have a large voice, but these other guys matter, right? Everyone matters. And so I think the environment that I try to foster uh, with not just the staff, but also the players, everyone has a voice. Everyone has an opinion. And so Trendon um, has an opportunity because of the, his play to have a large role, but his role is no greater than the next guy or the next guy to the next guy. It's going to take five guys on the floor to work as a unit to beat some of the guys that I mentioned on his, on his roster. I'm sorry, on his schedule. And so we really want our guys to be committed to each other. But Trendon, with what we've done, with he's, what he's put into the game, I expect him to have a really good campaign. Um, but the good thing is he's going to have help alongside of him. And, you know, this thing is going to be, some, like I said, some good, some bad, some ugly. But we think we have a plan, um, and, and we're going to stick to it, and we're going to make adjustments when needed. But he'll have the support to, to be not just a vocal leader, but also he'll have other, you know, obviously people vying for him to help him along the way. Yes, um, we have a guard, Noah Khan, uh, out of Houston. Um, one, of, one of my goals, right, um, in taking his position, um, you, you have to go out and get winners, right? Noah Khan is a winner, two-time state winner in the state of Texas. If anyone knows about basketball, the state of Texas is, is a pretty good state. I would rank it up there with Illinois, uh, New York, New Jersey, uh, California. Um, and he won two state titles. He's a fierce competitor, um, super athlete, uh, can score. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about him, but he's also a freshman, right? So I got to temper expectations uh, for him because he, he thinks, honestly, he can go out and compete against anyone at any time, any day. And so my goal is to put him in a position to where he can learn from some of the other guys. Um, but he's a fierce competitor. We um, also have, I said, we talked about Dawishi Hunter who came from uh, Weber State. 
uh, six foot four, can shoot it. Um, he's, a, he's a competitor as well. Um, and that's not just winners, but you also got to bring in guys who want to compete at a high level. My guys refuse to lose. They hate losing. Um, and that's how systematically you break down, right, the old habits and you start fostering good habits. And in order to compete, you got to have a roster, especially with the conference that we're in, with Buffalo, Toledo. Those guys are all really, really good programs over a course of time, right? So you got to go out and get guys who are fierce competitors and winners. And I think I've done a good job, the staff has done a good job of, us, of, of accumulating those type players. I think just the attention to detail by these guys. You know, when you, when you, when you start to implement something new and guys tend to, you know, be hesitant because they don't know. Um, these guys have been extremely vulnerable on and off the court with each other. Um, but on the court, these guys are working towards the same goal. Uh, they're learning at a rapid rate. Um, my coaching philosophy and, 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 and style is a little bit different than what they're used to. I'm extremely um, vigilant on detail because detail matters when you're trying to win games, right, where, you know, it's one or two baskets can, can decide a game. And so these guys are taking a liking to not just getting in the gym from a physical standpoint, but also mentally preparing themselves by watching film. Like we spend an enormous amount of time in indiv individual film sessions, but also collectively as a team. And that's gonna help the curve. That's gonna speed up the process, especially when you have three, well, seven new guys and six older guys all trying to mesh in a small amount of time. A competitive one. Um, like I said, I can't, I don't, I don't get into predictions. Um, I, I and myself and the staff feel confident uh, about the product that we're going to put out there, all right, but the game still has to be played. Um, but I, I think, you know, and that's the importance of having people at the convo. You're going to be super excited about the energy and the passion and the toughness that you're going to see these 13 guys exhibit every night. There won't be a night where it is going to be a lull because that's not how we practice. That's not the standard of this program. We're going to go out and compete. Doesn't mean we're going to win every game, but the opponent knows he's going to be in a dogfight. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick you up 94 feet. We're gonna we're gonna get into your legs. You know, I think my team is gonna be one of the best conditioned teams in the MAC. I feel strong. I stand on that. So we're gonna really force you to think under duress. Uh, we got 13 guys. I plan on using all 13. Uh, my goal is to get into your legs into the sec until the second half, and now execution, discipline, all that stuff comes into play. From an offensive concepts, we're gonna play freely. Uh, but we also got to take advantage of the talent that's on the floor. So everything we do is to put our guys in positions to be successful. Um, my guys are extremely versatile. Um, you know, obviously Anthony Crump, who uh, is a returning player, we spend an enormous amount of time in trying to develop his game uh, from the post, from the perimeter, um, and he's going to be a guy that's going to be all over the floor. Um, you know, obviously we talked at length about Trendon, but Keyshawn Williams, Dawishi Hunter, Noah Khan, um, you know, obviously Kingsley, who is one of the toughest physical kids, all of Mac, is gonna have, I think, an outstanding year uh, because of his passion and more importantly, his, 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 his attention to details. Like he's gonna be a guy that's gonna surprise a lot of people based on what they saw last year. Uh, Zul uh, is a guy who's known as a shooter, but we expanded his game. He's gonna be in a different role. So ultimately, these guys are gonna go out and we're gonna compete. Um, but also from an offensive standpoint, we're going to be hard to guard because I'm not a set-oriented guy where you can come down, you pass here, you go here. We play more freely, but we play with structure that I think will benefit our, our roster. Well, I appreciate you guys coming out, uh, and I can't stress enough the importance of having a convo packed. Um, that is a tremendous advantage for us. And that gives us an opportunity to make this a difficult environment to come and play. Thank you.